Hello everybody, this is Amel Peralta with another interview preparation uh, video for you. And this time I'm gonna continue with last time uh, with reverse a linked list. So as I told you, uh, last time I showed you the iterative solution, but this time I wanna show you how to solve it recursively. So they give you this list, for example, and you have to reverse it. Uh, instead of using a loop, we're gonna use recursion. Recursion is when a function calls itself, for example. So, um, we need to think about the base case and how we're going to return the head of the list because as you can see the last node becomes the new head so we have to return it back um, whenever the recursion is coming back whenever the recursion is unwinding so in order to do that we're going to um, handle the base case uh, whenever we are at the last node that's going to be the, last, the, 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 the base case so we're going to return that a pointer to the last node every recursive call and that's going to give us back the head and uh, using recursion you know that we can traverse the list because we can uh, the function reverse list is going to start at the head but if you uh, call the function again or the method again with head that next is going to go here head that next is going to go here and you continue until it gets to the base case uh, the base case is going to be uh, it has two base cases if you are the last node it's going to stop or if if it's an empty list if it is no it's going to stop as well uh, and then it's going to go back and go back and go back and that's how you can solve this problem so remember that using recursion you can traverse a list uh, forward and then the recursion is going to go back again um, because it uses a stack implicitly so without further ado I'm going to show you the implementation so first we're going to do this so if the list is empty, if the head is null, or there's only one node in the list. So these are the two base cases I told you about. We're going to return that. So if the list is empty, we'll return the empty list. If there's only one node in the list, that means that head.next is null, then we'll return node. So this is the base case. So we're gonna traverse the entire list, and we get, when we get to the last node, that the head, this node that next is gonna be null. So that's gonna be this case here, and so we can return a pointer to this node that is gonna become the new head. So I don't wanna lose the head, so I wanna make a temporary reference to to the head. So pointer p points to what this is pointing to 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 the head. And then I can use recursion. So I'm gonna get the new head by calling this method recursively, reverse list, passing head that next every every time. And remember, this is what's gonna allow me to traverse the list first one, two, three, all the way to the base case. And remember that every time uh, the head is gonna be returned here. So this is gonna be my new head and at the end, I can return it back. That's going to be the, the new head of the list. In this case, the new head is going to be 5, as you can see here in the output. So now, I get to the base case here. I'm on the last node. So this is going to return. So it's, it's going to go back here. So when, when I get here, I want to fix this. I want to fix the links. So what I do is that I can say that P that next that next points back to P. So what that means is that I'm here, so P that next is five, that next is this link here, points back to P. So you're gonna fix this link pointing back to four. And then the link of four, you wanna make it null. So P that next points to null. And that's it. This is gonna do it. So now let's check, run the code. Voila, five, four, three, two, one. So this is good. I'm gonna submit a solution. And this is working perfectly. So as you can see, uh, I use recursion here. Um, the function is calling itself. Using recursion, you can traverse the list and you return the head it has two base cases if the list is empty or if you are at the last node of the list 
and you only have to modify the links. So the tricky part here is to understand this part when you modify the link and remember that you, you, you always return in the head. The head never changes in this case. So it's always five. So every time, every function is going to return five, 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 all the way to the beginning. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and happy coding. Thank you.